let's take a basket, a box, Sharpies, tape, crayons, and make a baby Yoda and basket. What I've got here is just your standard basket with little handles and just a box. We've all been getting Amazon deliveries. We all have these boxes. Here's my idea. This box will go around this basket. So let's tear it up. All right. <laughs> so that's that. Will this work around this basket? Let's cut off all of these pieces. So don't tell Steve. I'm more of a Star Trek fan than Star Wars. And actually, this shirt is suit. <laughs> I thought it would go with the mood. Oh, I forgot to mention what we're making. Uh, today, we're gonna make Baby Yoda for my dog. So she's gonna be Baby Yoda, and this is gonna be the cradle that he kind of flies around in. Okay, all right, so now we have a plain strip of cardboard, and my thought is that this could be this part of, ta-da, the cradle, okay? Oh, that's gonna work out super good. What I'd like to do is just kind of give it a little bit more circular form, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> Can you believe that? It fits perfectly. So then my thought was, take the other, let me move this. Take the other pieces of cardboard and kind of make them this piece right here, you know? So let's do that. Okay, now I've kind of pre-bent all of these. And they don't quite fit, like, I don't know if you can do this. They don't quite fit all the way across the basket. But, you know, I've got some smaller pieces too. So, yeah, I think smaller pieces. I'm just totally making this up because honestly, everybody, I looked up how to do this and everybody has ways to knit Baby Yoda costumes and, and buy them and stuff like that. But nobody ha knows how to make the little cradle thing. What is this? Cradle, crib, transportation device I'm not sure I'm thinking this could be like this right and then a little piece oh my gosh can you believe how perfect this is going what that's gonna be perfect so what I need to do now is get some tape I saw some silver tape over here that Steve had let's go get it <laughs> I found very silver duct tape I don't think there's enough <laughs> okay, see how I've done that? And then it's around here, and it's around the other handle, so the handles are kind of separated. So just keep going and going with the strips of cardboard and the tape. fills in that gap so I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna cut off this little piece here <laughs> is this the jankiest thing okay maybe it looks more like a covered wagon this is not this is not totally how I thought it would go okay but then you're gonna notice bam this goes around here like this and covers up all the ends of that. I'm just gonna go for it, everybody. I'm gonna tape this side, it just happens to be the right, the right size. All right, let's keep going with some of these details. We're gonna tape along the back of the, uh, what do we call it, cradle? The cradle.
proceed to using the entire roll of your fiancé's silver tape. So that's looking okay, because if I, you know, even just photograph it here, that would be okay. All right, now I'm going to go look up some details. I've got my computer here, and I've looked up Baby Yoda Cradle. So we're going to do this. So let's make this be the little hinge that the basket's supposed to open and close. Here's our little button. Bam! So in the drawings, there's a little button there. I got my Sharpies. I have my big fat Sharpies. And I have my standard Sharpies. How about this gray one? Let's see if we color this in gray. How's that? Bam, right there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be super heavy duty, so I, maybe this masking tape would work. What do you think of that? That's where that little button is. I just tape it on there. Now the picture shows a red line that goes kind of underneath and forward and down. I just totally freehanded this based on a picture on Google. Okay, now, does that seem right? What I also see is coming down here, right in front of the lever is also a black line. So it kind of does that. If you see in just some of the drawings, I don't know if you can tell that. Yeah. Repeat on opposite side. Again, photography channel, not a crafty channel, but I'm trying to help you all out here. If you want to have a fun May the 4th with your doggy, you could totally do this. All right, we have lever number two, and then we're also going to draw a wishy black line number two. Now we have a baby Yoda cradle. All right, let's move on to the baby Yoda costume. For the costume, what I did is I went online and found some printables, and they were too small for Bay, so I printed them out a little bit bigger, but then my printer started running out of ink, so these look real gross. But what I did find was cardstock, and of course my Sharpies, okay? <laughs> All right, so this is the little cloaky thing that it wears. Closest I have to brown is kind of this bronzy, bronzy gold. So we'll just, you know, we're just gonna trace it, trace it onto here. You can print this out on cardstock if you have a printer that's not <laughs> out of ink like mine. Yeah. So there you go. I have traced this onto there. I can get. Let me make these lines thicker, and then we're going to get crayons. I have a big box of crayons, of course. I love when I get to use my Sharpies. Who else has a Sharpie addiction? Oh my gosh, I love Sharpies. Oh, love Sharpies. Okay. Oh, I thought I had the super big box. I have the 48 camp. <laughs> Let's find a brown in here real fast. Color in his whole sweater brown. It doesn't have to be perfect at all, ever. I don't know if that's true to his actual outfit. Does that kind of look like his outfit? I think it kind of does. Let's cut it out. So there's Baby Yoda's thing. Now let's do his little sleeves. Okay, he needs two little arms. Well, like his arms and hands, right? Okay. So I've got both his little hands, which I'll link to the PDF that I got this from. And I ended up enlarging it times two, uh, and then kind of laid it out next to Bay just to see if it's kind of close. I wanted the ears to be extra, extra big, <laughs> of course. So I'm gonna cut these out now. So, let's 
let's kind of do like we did with this and outline with a Sharpie, with the green Sharpie for his little hands. Now let's find a green crayon in here. And now we're gonna take that same, which one is this? Bronze, the bronze Sharpie. And we're gonna outline his little sleeve. So we've got that outlined like this. And then I'm gonna take, which one of these was darker? This one. The darker one goes on the front part of his little sleeve. <laughs> I got some texture from the cardboard under it. That's cool. Okay, can you see the detail there from the cardboard? That's fun. That's super fun. Okay, here's the ears. So pink is gonna be in the middle. I'm just gonna eyeball it again, everybody. It's okay. So you just make a teardrop like you're making a border along the whole ear, just like we did on his arms and coat. And then we're gonna crayon in the middle. And his ears are the same color as his little bitty hands. So we're gonna take the dark Sharpie again, because that's kind of the dark one. Just kind of go along the outside of his little ear here. Okay. Where's that green crayon? Here we go. Green crayon. Super DIY, everyone. Just kind of using whatever I have. You could do the whole thing in Sharpie. You could paint it. Oh my gosh, if you had paints, this would be fantastic. Okay, baby Yoda ear. Ears are done. Ears are done. So now we have the ears and the sweater. Okay. Now, <laughs> to figure out how to put this all on her. Alright, initial ideas are that this will just be secured in here, as if she's wearing it, maybe. If you can just see a little bit of it, but you have to be sitting up. And then the little hands will just be taped on here. I think that'd be cute. But then how do I put her little ears on? on your head. Could we, could we also just make this up here and like that's her little ears? I don't know. Let's um, here, let's tape the hands on. This way your dog doesn't have to wear anything. Wouldn't that be good? I would love that so much. What do we think of that? And then if we taped your ears here, hold on. And there she is, everyone. What do you think? Okay, let's take a look. Baby Bailey! Up. Hi! Hi! Aren't you the cutest? <laughs> awesome! Good job, Bay. Good job. Baby Bailey! Hi! Oh my gosh, you're rocking it! Oh my goodness, Bay! Good job! And she wants a treat. Okay. There we go. Hi. Hi, Baby Bay. Hi! Bailey, you're doing so good. What a good Baby Yoda. And this is all the mess we have. I think it was totally worth it. Don't you? You got treats out of it. Yes, you did. Good baby Yoda. Baby Bailey, sorry. Good job, Bay. May the fourth be with you. Yeah. Oh, this was a super fun last minute project. I hope you have time today to try it. May the fourth be with you, of course. And as always, I wish you many woofs, Purs and T R E A T S's.